Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about my recent trip to the Worlds of Wonder Doctor Who exhibition at the World Museum in Liverpool with my godson Rupert who is a huge Doctor Who fan as well. The first thing that greets you as you come in is this rather scary looking weeping angel, thankfully behind glass. I've been to this building before, it's an absolutely fantastic museum, it's definitely worth checking out and it is usually free, um, it has five different levels each with uh, different cultural, historic and natural historic exhibitions but uh, they have lent out their second floor to the Doctor Who exhibition The Worlds of Wonder. <laughs> One of the things I was expecting as I went in was that this would be a kind of an okay exhibit um, but with many of the cast-offs maybe from the uh, Doctor Who Museum in Cardiff but actually there was a lot of stuff I hadn't seen here which was great to see as well. There you see the uh, original Doctor's TARDIS console which um, I'm pretty sure was, from, uh, was made for the um, William Hartnell drama that they made for the 50th anniversary. <laughs> nice to see a wall uh, dedicated to some of the most important people in early Doctor Who, including Verity Lambert there, of course, Sidney Newman, uh, Kip Hedler, Douglas Adams. Mark Gattis gave you a bit of an introduction as you came in. One of the nice things about this as well, it was it's quite educational, so there was a lot of links with Doctor Who and the science behind the science fiction, which was nice. Here's a android from the Caretaker episode, I believe. And of course, the K9 model, which uh, my godson Rupert was very, very excited to see. There's the K1 from um, Tom Baker's debut, oh, yeah. as well as some of the uh, scary but beautiful uh, robot droids from the series, uh, both classic and new. He's looking at you, kid. Yeah, so as you can see here as well, lots of demonstrations of the science behind time travel, uh, some of the animals that helped to inspire some of the Doctor's um, most iconic villains. <laughs> it's a fun voice modulator to make you sound like a Dalek. Some of the spacesuits, including the Vastra Narada one, uh, many of these were used on screen, which was which was really cool. Then an exhibit of the different models. My uh, godson is a big Thunderbirds fan, and he uh, noted the similarity between some of these and the Thunderbird models, of course. There's Gadget from uh, Waters from Mars. <laughs> Rupert seeing if the Doctor's in. Yeah, it was a pretty vast exhibition, oh, really. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that, it's the Kingfisher, <laughs> amazing. Coming up to my, probably my favorite room in the exhibit now, um, which had some in, an interactive Dalek and some oh, wow. Cybermen and some of the other classic monsters in as well. Don't blink, Rupert. Oh, nice. Oh, my favourite. I love the I love the Cybermen. Great to see my favourites, the Cybermen, in all favorite. their various guises. Oh, brilliant! You can get inside. And Rupert having a go on the interactive Dalek. One of his favourite <laughs> moments from the day. You will be exterminated. Nice. Don't blink. It was nice and spacious and uh, nice and comfortable to walk around, not too, not too busy, um, but everyone was dead friendly, uh, the guy on the left there, we had a, a good conversation with about oh, yeah. um, how scary the silence like were as well. Uh, so yeah, everyone we met was really, really friendly and uh, 
just a, a thoroughly nice, pleasant day out. But don't blink. And we have the 60s Ice Warrior and the more recent Ice Queen as well. It reminds you just how um, scary some of these uh, creatures actually are. <laughs> what have you found? I would have walked past this, but Rupert managed to find this uh, Doctor's Hall um, of Curiosities, which had loads of scary looking masks and things that some of them worn uh, by the actors themselves. Including one of my favourite monsters that's only been in one episode that I can think of, which is the Whispermen from The Name of the Doctor. And there's the half, yeah. The half there. And her very, very creepy Waters of Mars zombie as well. Not in front of him. Next to him. That's it. What would you What would you do if he was like, "Hello, Rupert"? <laughs> More recent costumes now. This one from Flux, I believe. And um, there was a bit about cloning as well. Galaxy 4 there, of course. And who doesn't like to see uh, Greg Davis and Matt Lucas's severed heads <laughs> on a spike? <laughs> Terrifying. Kablam robot there, I think. Brain and Morbius, so yeah, all the classic and the modern ones were uh, teamed up together. <laughs> this was great seeing Lady Cassandra as you walk past her. She started speaking to her, speaking to you, which was really cool. bit of a cinema room which showed uh, different highlights from the the new show as well I still call it the new show even though we're talking uh, how many years now since 2005 Ready, go. and as we came out there was a little gift shop as well which was uh, nice it had some different Doctor Who related trinkets Rupert got himself a Jodie figure I quite liked this Sonic Spork and of course, uh, in a moment, I'll show you what I picked up, which was the Doctor Who themed jelly babies. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching and checking out my visit to the Doctor Who exhibition in Liverpool. Go check it out while you can. Take care.